So I got my new uh, circuit done here, straight from the da data sheet here, right there. This is my MC1496 balance modulator, right there. And the output is hooked directly into the re 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 receive there. I'm on about 12 volts. And this is the microphone amp. It's uh, Charlie Morris's. Z Z Z Z Z L2 CCTM's D Z D design with an an electric mi mi microphone here, just on a speaker cable with a headphone jack. So it c c goes from here through here, and it goes in, and then it goes out. So see that we're on frequency. One two check audio audio. This is just a little bit off in frequency, but. If we change our frequency, let's go to, let's go down here. Now we're not going to hear anything. One, two, check, one, two, check. Because we're not on frequency. So what that tells us is we are properly m modulating. Put it back. Come on. No. Audio check, audio check, one, two, one, two. And now we're going to check on Upper side band. Hello, one, two. Hello, one, two. Audio check, okay? So that means we got both side bands. And on AM, since we have the suppressed carrier, it shouldn't sound that good. Hello, one, two, one, two. Yep, because there's no, it's just a little bit of carrier. So, audio check, one, two. Sounds very loud. Sounds very That does not sound good because the carrier isn't strong enough to to a activate the AM circuitry. There we go. Audio check one two sounds good. Alrighty, and uh, we'll be back.